Debian, Ubuntu, or Fedora, which Linux distro should you actually choose in 2025? Let's break it down. And hey, if this helps, smash that like button and subscribe for more tech comparisons. Quick intro. Debian is the rock-solid foundation oldest, most stable. Ubuntu is Debian's user-friendly cousin, backed by Canonical, perfect for beginners and pros. Fedora is Red Hat's bleeding-edge testbed latest software. Developers love it. Release cycle. Ubuntu LTS gives you five years of support, set it, and forget it. Fedora drops new versions every six months with cutting-edge features but only 13 months support. Debian releases when ready, sometimes years apart, but it's bulletproof stable. Package management. Ubuntu and Debian use APT with Deb packages, huge repositories, super reliable. Fedora uses DNF with RPM, faster, modern, and efficient, but smaller ecosystem. Software philosophy. Here's the real difference. Fedora ships only open source software by default. Ubuntu is more relaxed, proprietary drivers and codecs work out of the box. Debian sits in the middle with separate free and non-free repos. Performance. Fedora runs the newest kernel and GNOME best for modern hardware, but uses more resources. Debian is lightweight, runs on anything, even old machines. Ubuntu balances both recent software without the bleeding edge. Who wins? For servers and mission-critical systems, Debian's your answer. For everyday users who want things to just work, Ubuntu wins. For developers testing the latest tech or prepping for Red Hat Enterprise environments, Fedora is unbeatable. Bottom line, Debian for stability, Ubuntu for ease, Fedora for innovation. Your choice depends on whether you value reliability, user-friendliness, or cutting-edge features. Hit subscribe, drop your distro choice in the comments, and check the description for install links. See you in the next one!